Welcome to this presentation of the paper Unified Theory of Characteristic Models. My name is Mats Gustafsson, and this is joint work with Lukas Kurt and Miloslav. So in this paper, what we do is that we unify the characteristic mode theory based on scattering and method of moments uh, matrices developed more than 50 years ago. The formulation provides physical insight and understanding about what characteristic modes are. It can handle complex shapes and complex materials. It's natural for tracking, interpolation, and effect of losses. It can be used in arbitrary solvers, metro moments, finite elements, FTTD. We also provide code so you can try it yourself in your favorite commercial solver. To show the unification, we start with the metal moments formulation. And we only do one change from the typical formulation of the Harrington and Mouse is that we divide this into two matrices, U, T, U. And in the scattering formulation, we let the U here denote the expansion of spherical waves. So we have some structure with some current and it radiates some field F, and that is determined by this matrix U. So if I take the characteristic mode formulation, I then get this. And now just inverting the impedance matrix and multiplying by U, recognizing the left hand sides as F, and reformulating this, I get a new eigenvalue problem. And this new eigenvalue problem in this case is now formulated here in these expansion coefficients, the outgoing fields. It has an eigenvalue here, T, which is related to the original characteristic eigenvalues. And the left-hand side here is recognized as a transition matrix or T matrix. So what that one does is that it maps here these spherical waves, some incoming or regular waves to outgoing waves. And the characteristic modes are determined by taking the eigenvalues of this T matrix. And the beauty we have is that the T matrix can be evaluated in arbitrary solvers. Yes, you can solve a scattering problem. So you can do it in metro moments, finite elements, and FTTD. And you see one example here, what you do, you excite with some field, quadrupole octopole, you take out another one. And by doing that, you actually get one element inside of this T matrix, and then you can fill the matrix. To show one example, let's look at the dielectric cylinder with permittivity 38, and you have the sizes sitting up there. Solving this now in 11 frequency points using finite elements, we get this plot of the characteristic eigenangles that you have here. And then what we can use is that we can now use scattering theory and we can actually interpolate, we can track and we can connect this. And then you get actually from these 11 points, the full data, and you can see how the modes develop with frequency. You can, for example, find the resonances sitting up here. So what we have done in the paper is now what we have contributed to the theory of the characteristic modes. I have now focused here on this part here, which is the scattering where we use the spherical waves, finite elements, method of moments. We have other papers which also do the same thing in plane waves. And there, for example, you can even use FTTD. We can use it in an iterative solver. And those papers you can also see here. They also recently published. And all of this, in some ways, contribute a lot to what we can do in the characteristic modes. We get also new tools in the analysis of these ones that we can use them for. And of course, we widen the scopes of applications because now we can actually solve the characteristic mode problem for more complicated structures. You can also see to the right here one example where you actually see this. You see the typical fields, you see the currents that you have here, and you can also see that these are solved with different types of solvers providing the same type of data. Okay, so with that, I thank you for your attention.